Hello everybody and thank you for joining me at The Lonely Vine. I hope everybody had a good, fulfilling, stuffed Thanksgiving. Um, you know, we're just about into December now, just after Thanksgiving weekend. The holiday stuff started going up, Christmas tree is up, lights are outside, the stockings are hung by the chimney. They were just kind of throwing up there though, so what are you going to do? Um, so being that it, we're coming in December, we're getting near Christmas, um, you know, it is going to be a time where, let's be honest, we're all going to be drinking a little bit more wine. <laughs> um, and it's a, it's a time where uh, people are, are actually buying a lot more wine. So um, I will continue to do my blind failures, I mean, tastings. Uh, but I think I'm going to add another uh, section or piece to the wine tastings and doing table wines, um, you know, your daily wines, $15 or less, uh, tr you know, stuff that's going to be available um, more places, trying to give you, you know, wines that you may find that you'll like that you can keep around the house for if guests show up, when the Griswolds show up, uh, stuff you can give as gifts, um, stuff, you know, those kind of wines that are, that, I think will be good, especially for this time of year. So, but that's another day. Let's go ahead and get into what I'm really interested in, and that's having some wine tonight. Um, it was uh, this was in a it was wrapped in foil, but it was getting a little bit loose, so I put it and transferred it to a bag uh, before I started, just so there was no mishaps. Um, so let's get into this. It is a red wine. I think I'll get that part of it right. Um, if you can see it, it's uh, it's quite a bit lighter than uh, some of the other ones we've done. Tells me this could be a thinner skinned grape. Um, can definitely, you got some paper under here, I can definitely eat the writing through it. If I look at the rim, the rim is interesting because, um, you know, it's a little bit more salmon colored, maybe a little bit orange. That could indicate age. It could also tell a little bit about potential varietals. Um, so something to keep in mind as we progress through this tasting. Uh, the legs, just because I always look at them, oh, uh, they're moving pretty quick. They're pretty thick. You know, this, uh, this could be a little bit higher alcohol wine. You know, we could be looking at something, you know, usually you're in that, 12 and a half, 13 and a half percent. This could be um, higher than that. This could be in the 14, 14 and a half range based on that, if that means anything to you, if you believe that in that stuff or not. Um, <clears throat> volatile the esters here for a little bit. Take it off the table so you don't have to listen to it slide around the table. And now we will get my nose into this wine. Okay, so the alcohol thing um, is coming through in the nose as well. I'm definitely picking up some of the booze. Um, as far as like fruits, I'm, it's, it's more red fruit. There's tartness to it, so cherry, you know, the sour cherries, the red cherries, those are hiding in here. You know, there's some cranberry to it. There's not earth. I'm not getting much oak. Um, there's something there that I can't quite put my finger on. Um, maybe like a um, like a tea. Like a black tea kind of, you know, that it's not herbal, but it is, and it's not like earth, but there's this, it's like black tea, you know, <laughs> words escape me all the time. Probably doing the wrong thing if I'm, if I can't get the verbs out. Hmm. 
Snarf. I smell snarf. Um, but yeah, there's there's the tartness to it. There's cranberries. There's that sour cherry. Um, there is you know this black tea. It it's not. I guess it's kind of her herbish, but not herbal. If that makes any sense, it's not like green pepper. It's not that that cabernet. It's not olive. It's none of those things. Um, you know, it is a thinner skin grape. As I swirl it, you're not seeing any residual color on the glass. You know, so thinner skin grape. The fruit is what's le. Ooh. Interesting. I got almost a little bit. I am getting it of like a tomato leaf. That could be a pretty good sign of something, something, something. Yeah, I'm definitely get that tomato leaf component to it. The cherry, the thin skin, the light color. Um, you know, that's all leading me to a couple pretty clear spots. The rim in the color, though, um, you're not going to be able to see it, I'm sure. But it's it's a it's a orangey salmon. You know, it's 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 not a color I would expect. You know, unless it had some age to it or was something else. Very interesting. Okay, let's get this into me. And swallow. And swallow. Okay, so the alcohol is definitely there. It's not overpowering, but I'm feeling it as I swallow it, it's like there's, you know, it's like when you do a shot, you know, you feel it. Um, it's contained, I mean, it is contained well. I do sense it. So I'm guessing this is, you know, that 14 and a half percent alcohol. It's, it's get some, I, I won't be drinking much of this or definitely without the camera on. Um, but there's that, um, the tartness, that red fruit, that red sour cherry that's coming through that's there there's cranberry it's those tart tart fruits um it is fruit forward it's all fruit all the time you know so this is everything i've looked at you know everything i'm smelling there is that a little bit of that herb herbish quality to it you know but there's not that earth there's not that minerality this is all fruit this is all alcohol um and all acid there's no tannins that i'm sensing in it so i'm saying for sure this is a new world wine um you know this is going to be i think this i'm leaning towards pinot noir as one option or Sangiovese as another option. Um, you know, if it's a Sangiovese, you're going to expect, you know, we're looking at an Italian wine. I guess it could be New World. You don't see a lot of it, but you know, you are seeing. When I and when I say New World, this is to me, this is a California wine. Um, I'm not getting any of the notes that I would expect out of Australia, New Zealand. Um, you know, if it's going to be out of you know the South America region. You're you're gonna guess it's gonna be a Malbec. This isn't a Malbec, um, and because the the alcohol where the alcohol is, where the fruit is, as far as America, I'm thinking California. Um, Yeah. Okay. Even though the alcohol is high, the structure is, is there, the acid is there. 
So I'm saying California already said that. Year wise, you know, this um, it's it is a younger wine, um, but not super young. So I'm gonna say, you know, like 2007, somewhere around there. Um, California, 2007. I'm gonna say it's Pinot Noir. I'm not going to go sub-region. It's not Napa. It's not Sonoma. Could be Sonoma. I don't think it is. It's going to be south of that. So, and that's as far as I'm going to go. Um, so 2007, California, Pinot Noir. I'm going to be mad if it's something else that I said. So let's see, I had a tough time. My design on these bags was apparently off a little bit because this bottle had a tough time getting in there. <laughs> California was right. Year was 2005, I said 2007. I said Pinot Noir. Oh well, I can't be too upset with that. Um, it is a good bottle. Oh, what is it? It is the uh, De Bruno from Santa Inez Valley, the Stoltman Vineyard. 14.6% alcohol. And that's about all she wrote. Okay. So, what did I want to say? Oh, yeah, okay. So, you know, I was talking earlier about having the, um, the more table wine-centric tastings, $15 or less. If you've had any recently that you like, uh, comment, let me know about it. Um, I will see if I can find some of them and add those into what I'll be tasting so that hopefully... The, like three people that watch this show and I can all try some of the same stuff. Maybe find some good wines to keep around the house for the guests, give away as gifts, whatever, or just sit back and drink it as the holidays wash over us. So until the next time, have a great day, night, wherever you're at, and cheers. Cheers.